Hi and welcome to TV and Hi-Fi Pro. In this new video, we're going to look at the new LG Nano 99 AK TV with nano cell technology and with full array local dimming backlighting. This is the Nano Cell Series flagship and we've tested it in 75 inches, but it's also available in 65 inches. Next, we'll explain all its features and performance and if it's really worth buying an 8K TV today. Before beginning with the review, subscribe to our channel and enable the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our next videos. Let's start by going over the picture quality of the new LG Nano 99. Currently, there are available very few contents in 8K, so that's why the manufacturers are focusing on improving the picture processors to try to achieve a sort of 8K simulation at least with the contents in 4K resolution. The LG Nano 99 comes with the new third generation Alpha 9 processor, and as we've been able to check, does a really great job handling any source no matter what the resolution is. The native 8K content looks stunning, with an impressive level of detail which helps to create a mayor sense of immersion. But not only 8K native content looks amazing, even Full HD and HD content looks really great, thanks to the splendid upscaling of the Alpha 9 processor. Digital cable television, satellite, and digital terrestrial television looks clean and sharp, and we've noticed an improvement in detail in comparison with other TVs. The new third generation Alpha 9 processor employs artificial intelligence with deep learning technology to optimize the content, but you can enable this feature that is called AI Picture Pro or disable it whenever you want it. Although theoretically, it'll make some improvements on the picture quality, to be honest, we haven't noticed any difference when it's enabled or disabled. In any case, the upscaling on this TV is remarkable, and it's without a doubt the point that we like the most. To get the best picture quality, we leave you our calibration below in the description. Another important feature of the LG Nano 99 is the Full Array Local Dimming Backlight System. Full Array Local Dimming technology controls multiple zones throughout the display and unlike edge LED TVs that only have LEDs around the edges places these LEDs behind the screen. Because of this, it can adjust the light independently in hundreds of zones, and you can get enhanced black levels, better shadow detail, and also a decreased level of light bleed. Although the effect can't be seen as well through the camera as in person, now you can see the difference with local dimming enabled and disabled. The black level improves a lot and at the same time the shadow detail is much better and you can see more information in the dark areas of the scene. There are three levels to choose, low, medium, and high. We recommend you choosing low because turning it up to medium or high creates more noticeable light transitions. This is caused by a slow response of the local dimming algorithms that try to adjust the brightness in real time. In some specific scenes, we have noticed the brightness flickering and can be a little bit annoying. Thankfully, it doesn't happen very often. Despite this drawback, it's also mandatory to enable this function. You won't get the black level of an OLED TV, but considering it has an IPS panel, the contrast is pretty good with local dimming on. And besides, the screen uniformity also improves a lot. As you can see right now, with local dimming on, the light leakage disappear. Meanwhile, with local dimming off, they're quite noticeable. The Nano 99 has nano cell technology, which consists of adding some nanoparticles of one nanometer of size to the panel to filter unwanted light wavelengths and enhance the purity of the colors. The colors are vivid, but without being at any time oversaturated, getting a fairly faithful color representation. The color gamut covers over 90% of the DCI-P3 color spectrum, and the panel has 10-bit color depth. HDR contents can achieve a great impact thanks to the 1000 nits peak brightness that the Nano 99 can deliver. Supports Dolby Vision, HLG, and HDR10. It doesn't support HDR10+, but with the dynamic tone mapping function, can get a similar result analyzing and adjusting the optimal tone mapping scene by scene in real time. As we expected, the viewing angles are quite good because of the NanoCell IPS panel and keeps color saturation and contrast in wide angles. This model is really good for gaming and it has HDMI 2.1, so you can play at 4K in high frame rate up to 120 hertz. Also supports auto low latency mode and the input lag is around 18 milliseconds, but unfortunately, unlike other NanoCell series, this Nano 99 doesn't support variable refresh rate. We also have to talk about the sound, because honestly, it sounds better than we expected. It's built in 4.2 channel system with a power output of up to 60 watts. It can deliver a certain amount of bass and dialogues are quite clear. There's an audio mode that employs artificial intelligence to identify voices, effects, and frequencies, and adjust the sound according to the audio genre. It works fine, but we recommend you choose the standard mode and enable the ultra surround function to get more fidelity. You can also calibrate the sound so that the TV adjusts the audio taking into account the size of your room and the viewing distance. This can be done using the built-in microphone in the Magic Remote and following the instructions that the TV gives you. Dolby Atmos is supported, but this year LG no longer supports DTS decoding. And now we're going over smart TV functions. 
The LG Nano 99 includes the new version of WebOS, an operating system that we like a lot. You have access to a wide range of apps and it offers a lot of customization so that you can create shortcuts to your favorite apps. We also love the Magic Remote, which you can use as a pointer and having a better navigation through the menu and apps. Pressing the microphone button, you can use the voice recognition to give orders to Google Assistant and Alexa to find content easily and many other things. And with ThingQ platform, you can control and get notifications from other smart devices in your home, like security cameras or smart plugs, for instance. Well, now it's the moment of truth. Is the LG Nano 99 really worth it, considering that there's almost no content in 8K right now? It's hard to give a short answer, especially considering its price and also the lack of 8K content nowadays. To be honest, you won't take advantage of 8K in the short term. And in the end, most of the content you're going to watch will be in 4K at best. Nevertheless, as we mentioned in the picture quality segment, the picture processing in this TV is really impressive. And not only 8K video looks astounding, but also the 4K and even HD content. Whatever the resolution is, the images look very crisp, and with not noise at all even with high compressed programs and videos. So in our opinion, the strongest point on this TV is the way it upscales any content and the sharpness you can get, whatever the source is. Thanks to the full array backlight, the contrast is quite good, and you're going to get a good experience with HDR content. And it's also a good TV for the new PS5 and Xbox Series X to play in 4K up to 120Hz. However, there are some points that can be improved. One of these points is the slow response of the local dimming, making you notice the light transitions when there's a difficult scene with lots of elements. We also miss the variable refresh rate function, considering it's the 8K NanoCell flagship. But on the whole, if you're interested in a television with the latest features and prepared for the coming years, we recommend the LG Nano 99 especially in 75 inches, where 4K LED TVs are still too expensive. If you like this video and you want to support us, subscribe now to our channel so that we can keep bringing to you new videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.